All right, I know this video is mad late when it's coming out. I know it was almost midnight here in the USA, but you know me, I try to get people in as early as possible. One of my community members told me about the launch of Titan Farms and I was like, yo, when did this happen? And I went to the website, guys, the APRs are insane, so hurry up, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. Moonshot to the next light, moonshot next, got him catching drip, fever, make the room hot, deck, I rack up stacks, my platoon fall back, no cap, I can make drip, boom, all caps. All right, so you already know I am not a financial advisor and of course guys you're gonna have to do your own research and crypto never sleeps Unlike the stock exchange that closed on Fridays and people go home for the weekend and enjoy themselves Right now it's almost midnight and I'm shooting this video because at the end of the day my channel is all about getting in early And somebody in my community alerted me to the Titan Farms launch and when I looked at the website, guys, I was like, yo, these APRs are crazy. And I know how these farms are. The APR is going to start going down as the days go by. So I got to make a video now. What's the point of me going to sleep when I can make a video right now and share out this project with you guys? So make sure you hit that like and smash that subscribe, man. Show your boy some love, man. All right, so let me blow this up, guys. Yo, right now, the total liquidity managed by the Titan Farms is over $8.1 million dollars. And the farm just launched hours ago. This is incredible. And this right here, guys, is the TINC token. This is the farming token that you are going to receive the reward. And this right here, guys, is at $17. When it first launched, it went all the way up. I believe it hit $80. Now, why are people making a fuss about these farms? Man, yo, guys, it's all about the APR. The APRs are degen like insane. You're talking about Dragon X Hydra farm, over 10,000 APR. Dragon X Titan X, over 2,600 APR. The TINC Titan X, over 71,000 APR. And I saw it at 125,000 just 45 minutes earlier. The Vault slash Titan X farm, we're talking about over 5,200. APR guys, this is insane. Rap Eve Titan X over 8,500 APR and Hyper slash Titan X were over 7,100. And this is percentage guys, APR. So if we do a little bit of math, let's go to the Dragon X Hydra 10,000 APR. Let me pull out the calculator, right? 10,000 APR divided by 365 is going to give you 27% a day. Guys, this is insane, 27% a day. Is it gonna last every day? Obviously it's not, but the first day, you might be getting like definitely over 10 to 15% in the median range. So this right here, guys, where are you gonna get this? And you are not even going to be dumping your Dragon X or your Hydra, right, or your Titan X. And speaking of that, if we check the prices, man, the Titan X token, of course, is going bananas. If we take a look at the Dragon X holding very, very well on the uptrend. And we are looking at what else? We got uh, Hydra and Hydra is moving up as well. So all these tokens guys are doing very, very well just because of this farm launch. And right here, as we can see, the hyper token took a little bit of dump, but it's slowly recovering, but it was on an uptrend. These farms right here is giving people an opportunity that's been holding all their Titan X ecosystem, you know, tokens a way for them to make gains without selling the token, because now we're able to take what we have, you know, and we're able to put it to work in the farms in order to receive the TINC token. Now, I know you guys are going crazy and all that the APRs are very, very nice. But always got to understand is all about impermanent loss. So what's impermanent loss, right? So impermanent loss is basically you putting your LP together at a certain value, but because the price of these tokens go up or down, and sometimes they go down more time they go up, you will lose a little bit of that value. So for instance, if you have a $10,000 position LP, and the prices go down, it might go down to like 9,200 or 9,500. But people don't worry about that too much. Why? Because the APR makes up for it. So if you're getting like 
27% a day APR, even though if it serves a little bit of a in permanent loss, it doesn't really matter because you made 27, you know, percent off that 10,000, which is 2,700, right? So that's why you got to be very, very, you know, smart when it comes to positioning yourself in these farms. Now, which farm are you going to jump in Moonshot Max? Yo, the first farm that I might jump in is going to be the Dragon X Hydra farm. But then again, when I went to look at the Hydra, I was like, ooh, this Hydra is very nice with the chart, but the liquidity is kind of small with 4.4 thousand. So mm, not, not gonna do that. But I think the best farm for me is going to be the Rap ETH Titan X, which is giving me close to 8,000 APR. And then one of the farms that, you know, most people like to stay away from, you know, not telling you what to do, but just letting you know is the TINC farms, because we know that that's the reward token. And a lot of people is going to be, you know, dumping that in order to make their profits. So that's why the APR is so insane for the TINC. But hey, you never know. You never know this farm might catch on and the price might be starting to go up. So if you're going to jump into uh, the, you know, the TNC Titan X right here, I would advise that you wait until the price actually forms a nice little bottom out. The bottom of this token might be $15, might be $10, might be $5. I don't know what the bottom is, but that's something that you definitely want to pay attention to. And of course, oh, I forgot to mention, of course, you already know this is going to be on Ethereum, right? And Ethereum, you know, you got to have that little bit of gas fee money over there because they charge that premium gas over there, right? You don't mess around with regular gas, right? That's for Avalanche and Binance. If you're talking about Ethereum, you're talking about premium gas, right? So you got to make sure that you account for that as well. So if you take a look at the, you know, documentation real quick. All right. So how it works. So you basically deposit your Titan X ecosystem tokens in the Titan farms LP and the Titan farm utilizes a single LP position for gas efficiency. Oh, so not bad. So they're trying to save people, you know, a little bit of gas money. And that's good because when it comes to farms, you want to claim out, you want to do certain things but you worry about that gas. So they are using it um, basically a single LP position for gas efficiency. So not that bad at all. So you are going to receive a certain amount of TINC tokens, depending on the share input token fees collected from Uniswap V3 positions are sent to the buy and burn contract. Okay. That's pretty cool. So fees for non input tokens are distributed to users. All right. So let's see how this works. Titan farms input tokens. So input tokens are tokens whose fees are harvested to buy and burn the TINC token. And that's really, really good because as you can see, people are dumping the token. So the buy and burn is going to be very, very good and to provide fees for Genesis. Genesis can enable new input tokens. Any token can be a input token. Trading fees generated by the input tokens are not distributed to users, but sent to the buy and burn contract to burn the TINC. The following tokens are input tokens at launch. The ETH, the Titan X, Dragon X, the Hydra, and the Hyper. Okay, so the vault is not part of it. All right, so if you are a non-input, you know, token user, like the vault token, you are going to be getting some nice trading fees over here, guys. It says trading fees for non-input tokens will be distributed to farmers according to the amount of liquidity they provide and people love getting you know fees people are earning the tinc token based off how much they're putting into the lp and they're still holding their you know titan x ecosystem tokens so for me this is seriously a win-win man if you're big into titan x ecosystem you got a whole bunch of tokens in your wallet and you're going to hold on to these tokens and wait for that 10x or 20x or 30x this is a nice place to park these tokens. And I, and I believe they don't have any deposit fees. All right, man. So shout outs to, uh, Eric, man, Eric did a very nice job. You already know, Eric, he's the dev of dragon X. And I heard that Jake helped out a bit on these contracts. So that's pretty bullish. So we're going to stay tuned and see how well these farms are going to perform. And you already know Titan X ecosystem is blown up. So hit that like smash that subscribe for your boy, because this is your boy moonshot max taking you straight to the moon. I'm going to see you guys in my next video pretty, pretty soon. So peace out.